I really dislike it when an app updates a few days after my subscription expires. Couldn't we get it sooner? Anyway, Notability and Freenodes are the next handwriting apps to join the AI frenzy. And that's what we'll be going through in this video. Fantastic human, hello. It's Ropsy with Paperless X. If you like discovering awesome productivity apps, consider subscribing to our channel. This is the biggest update we have received in Notability in a while. I haven't used the app in years, so naturally I don't have any useful notes in the app to test this out. But I'm hoping my old med school notes could help me out here. I have a tendency of deleting or throwing away things. So I was super happy that I still had my Notability backup. I must say, restoring notes from a Notability backup is not fun. Surely one of these notes will be useful for testing our new feature. And let's take a moment to appreciate that I make some pretty notes. I think this notebook won't work well because of the notes that I wrote sideways. I still can't believe Notability hasn't fixed the page rotation issue. I don't have a notebook without any upside down notes. Just hoping for the best. I'm using what I have and I mean what better way to test this except using notes that I actually did create in Notability the way I would actually create them. Just tap on the AI feature and it just starts working. It is efficient, I suppose. The fewer steps, the better for anything, really. I love the accuracy of this AI tool. It even managed to get information from my upside down sideways notes. And there I was trying to save it the trouble. This is actually brilliant, and I love that the app just does this in an instant. Instant in comparison to how long it will probably take you to do this yourself. When you start the quiz, it starts compiling it for you. Again, efficient. You've got to love Notability's approach to minimalism. Always loved it, still do. I got 10 questions, and when you get a question wrong, you know immediately. Useful. You can go back to the previous question or to the next one. Once you've finished your quiz, you get your score and the option to review which takes you to the questions you got wrong. I was actually expecting review to be more of explaining what I got wrong than redoing the questions. And once that was over, my question became, where is my quiz? It's not saved on the homepage, but it's still there apparently. But the quiz is different this time around. I would rather have more questions for the quiz and be able to save it to the app somehow so I don't have to keep repeating this. But question rotation is actually a good idea because it makes sure that you are tested on everything in the notes in small chunks, which is the goal, isn't it? I picked up on incorrect answers and that is the one thing you really have to pay attention to with AI. Quiz generation is a very good use of AI in handwriting, no taking up. I loved it in Nebo, love it in Notability. You can copy the conversion. Not sure why I would want to do that. Why I would want that in text when I already have these beautiful handwritten notes. It's an option you have, and those are always good to have. Options, I mean. The AI is so impressive because it got information from a table, notes written sideways, diagrams, and even mind maps. This is definitely an exciting update, especially for anyone trying to learn something. I wouldn't use it for work though, and I feel like there is hope to have flashcards, or at least the ability to save this, or be able to use the app somehow while you're going through your quiz. Looking forward to having all of that in the future. What do you guys think about this? Do tell. Our next stop is in Freenotes with the 2.7 update of the app that's bringing us AI chat. 
I don't have any sensible notes in the app though. So I'm going to have to steal this copy and hope the PDF works. But after two attempts at sharing the document, I thought to change tactics. Not sure why the app is failing to receive the PDF from Notability. This is strange, and it's never happened before. So I had to import this instead. But that was probably not necessary because in free notes, AI starts on your homepage. It's giving me the impression that you don't need your documents to use it. You get three trials, so I must use them wisely. And when you run out of those, you have to subscribe to use the AI. Weekly, monthly, or yearly. And the yearly subscription is probably the most sensible, the most affordable of all of these. Can we take a moment to appreciate the useful free AI tool in Notability? I know Notability is a subscription, but subscription apps are still selling AI credits. We have seen others do it, so hats off to the Notability team. Now back to free notes. I dislike the setup to upload my documents each time I want to use the AI. It is too much work, especially for a paid feature. Imagine uploading every document in your notes. Where are you uploading it? What happens to it then? Maybe that's because I'm on the homepage and it makes sense, right? There is no open document. Let's see what happens when you do have a document that is open. I like that the icon is mobile. It can go pretty much anywhere on your screen. The setup hasn't changed, except that you can now make it a small sidebar. Worst implementation we have seen for AI so far, especially because the files you're choosing are not even the ones in the app. This makes absolutely no sense. You can do this anywhere then, since it is so disconnected from the app and your handwritten notes. After uploading your file, you can prompt the AI to do anything you want. At least you're not limited to doing certain things. Unfortunately, the AI wasn't able to extract any content from my handwritten notes, and instead it requested I upload a text-based document. For a handwriting note-taking app, that is a big ask. My first attempt was unfruitful, it didn't stop the app from counting that as one. So I'm going to try again with a text document. I tried to ask the same question I'd asked before, but I forgot how I'd paraphrased it and tried to go back to check the prompt I'd used before. That was futile because I couldn't scroll back to see what I had used before. So another thing to dislike with this setup but finally, the app did get my prompt and responded accurately. Even though it is not interactive, at least you can save it as a PDF. I would have preferred to save this as text, that way I will be able to edit errors. There's an option to copy the text, which would be perfect if this wasn't a handwriting note-taking app, because handwriting note-taking apps don't handle body text very well, even if they support it. Of the two, Notability has a much more practical and useful AI tool, one that will definitely improve how students learn things. Freenotes probably has to rethink the whole thing, because at the moment, 
is definitely the worst AI tool we have seen so far in a handwriting note-taking app. Which of the two would you use? Let us know. We hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.